Thanks to all of you beautiful beings, it's Elena and I'm enchanted to have you be here on my channel. Hello and welcome, I'm so glad that you're here. If you're new, consider liking, subscribing, becoming part of my little YouTube family and if you've been here before, hello and welcome back to each and every one of you fantastic beautiful creatures right across the screen. Lots of love, lots of warm hugs and hopefully you and yours are safe. So on today's video, as I reach over for my box. We are doing Lunarly Strawberry Moon unboxing and I am very excited since we have a smaller, shorter box. We are getting a candle this month. Lunarly does a candle or a plant every other month and I have one of their past candles over here flickering with me. I love the way they smell. So this is for their Strawberry Moon with a candle and Lunarly is like I kind of mentioned, a monthly subscription box based around the new moon. So it's all about setting your intentions and getting ready for the new moon, the new month, and the new energies starting with the lunar cycle. And it is all about kind of self-care and mindfulness, which is why there's a planted candle. But they also provide a crystal with every box as well as something else to kind of help alongside your spiritual journey. So I am very excited. Lunarly is probably the longest subscription box that I have ever had. Um, I love them to death. I'm going to put their price down over here for you guys to check it out and I'm going to have all of their links down in the description. Now Lunarly is not sponsoring any of this. I bought this totally with my own money and I just really enjoy their boxes so I figured I would share it with you. So here is their tiny little petite box that they put the rest of the goodies in. I'm very excited. And this is how their candle is packaged. It is packaged very, very nicely, very, very snugly, and I've never had any issues with the candles at all. The only thing is some of their formulas don't burn very nicely like it would tunnel or something like that but I resolve it by placing it on um, like a candle warmer or like a wax melt type of thing which usually resolves the situation. The only thing about candles I wish they came with a top. They don't come with a top it's just just a candle but I do love reusing them into other different things so I definitely like their candles. Anywho let's see what kind of other goodies we have in their box for this month and I'll get to the candle last. I like to sniff it and tell you kind of what it smells like. So a little bit of a dramatic opening. Bum bum bum! Ta-da! So all of their boxes come with a little art. Oh, I feel like mm, the texture of their cards went down a little bit. <laughs> so all of their boxes come with an artwork card specifically for the moon that's coming up as well as a very brief lunar kind of calendar of things happening. So new moon is June 10th which will also be the solar eclipse if you guys are in the area of where the path walks, walks by, of where the path goes by of the solar eclipse. And then first quarter, June 18th, full moon, June 24th, last quarter, July 1st. The strawberry moon is a cycle that brings up sweet possibilities. Named after the season's ripening strawberries, this moon beckons us to look for opportunities that are ready for picking. Ooh, it reminds me, I want to go strawberry picking, or rather, raspberry picking is my favorite. How will you nourish yourself with healthy treats in the days ahead? Stra <laughs> gonna go raspberry picking! <laughs> and then make homemade raspberry jam. An intention to inspire. I'm ready to take a bite out of life, pursue opportunities, and take more risks. So this is the card for the strawberry moon, the month of June. I love to keep these cards on my altar. Not only is it an artwork representing of the moon, it also has like a very quick guide to the moons, although I end up using more of my own printouts that I use for my boxes. Um, alongside with it since I have a little bit more in depth of like an astrological happening thing but I definitely love the artwork of these little cards although I feel like it, it got a little thinner but that's okay as long as the artwork is nice you know then we have their information pamphlet that has all the stuff on the goodies inside and then we have the goodies themselves so first I see a cloth of some sort, something plant-related, cloth-like. 
What are you? No special care instructions, machine wash warm, tumble dry, iron and bleach optional, 100% cotton. Ooh, are you, are you a tissue? Are you a little towel? Oh, we have a little towel. Um, it could be a kitchen towel or it could be a plant towel. I think what I will use it for just because of like the whole plant emblem on it is to actually use it for plants and repotting that way I don't make a mess on the table and just toss it into my wash with white yeah I think that would be great I got a very own like plant planting towel or use that sticker for something else <laughs> I'm totally excited, but you can very easily use it as like a kitchen towel or dish towel. Um, it's cottony, it's soft, it's a very basic generic type of towel and I'm kind of excited that it's plant-like and I will use it specifically for my plants since literally, you know, provides plants. I think that'll be pretty cool. Alright, on to more stuff inside. We have, ooh, lava stone. A lava stone thinking egg. A stubborn package. That's it. Some of these packagings just do not cooperate at all. Oh, awesome! So we have literally a lava stone in the shape of an egg. This is pretty cool. They sent one very similar to this very very similar to this same shape same size except it was made out of brass and i absolutely love meditating with it it's such a nice like fidget spinner thing and the fact that this kind of has a texture because of like the whole lava stone-esque of it this will be even like more fun to kind of meditate with just because of like the, the texture wise of it um it is fairly I wouldn't say it's very light, but it is lighter than the brass one that I keep on my altar for like meditation and stuff like that. And lava rocks are very good for grounding and for, for grounding and earth energies. So this, this, this is nice. I'm very excited. It is both a company. Oh no, do you not stand? Okay, it does stand. It is a nice combination of fire and earth, lava rock, so it'll be a good like elemental maybe, type of focus meditation I don't know we shall see there's an item in here that I see that I am so excited for you have no idea I see I know exactly what it is and I kid you not I was looking for it and I will tell you why when I get to it I am so excited for it so we have a lava rock and then we have another crystal so we get two for one Ooh. What are you? I'm not entirely sure what this one is. We have a little bit of quartz on it. Some grape texture. And a little bit of red dots. I'm not entirely sure what this one is. I couldn't really tell you or guess on it just because of how rough cut or raw this one is. But it's a cool rock. <laughs> I'm gonna put this aside. And last but not least, we have this. I am so excited for this. Just squiggles for the rest of the box. Um, I end up repurposing the squiggles for packaging for my own store and I use these boxes for storage and sometimes even for shipping. So everything gets reused and repurposed. Well, as much as I can. Anyways, I'm so excited for this. This is a little chime or kind of a chime. I wouldn't call this a bell, but it is a cleansing tool, a sound cleansing tool. Let's see how it sounds. Oh, I like the way it's suspended. Good, good. The way it's suspended, it should produce a fairly nice sound. Yes. I 
I am very excited for it. So the reason why I was looking for it, because any of the packages that I pack for my shop or any of my own boxes and things like that that I do, I make sure to spiritual cleanse them. I usually use incense or some kind of burning type of smoke cleansing thing could have explained that in less words but I don't know what happened so I was looking for one of these to kind of do an alternative to smoke cleansing my packages that way whatever the case may be and this is perfect so pretty much what we, however so how you would cleanse a room or an item is pretty much just ring it and like carry it around the room let it go through its own like tone or beat or you can ring it see if I can do this properly and pass it around an item so this will be like cleansing and clearing a specific item that way make sure the beam of it or beam of it the rod of it is pointed towards the item to like give it the optimal noise <laughs> so to speak but you have no idea how excited I am for receiving this cleansing sound cleansing tool I'm thrilled yay okay so that's it for what was inside that box let's get to the candle toss that aside and this is their logo on it they've kind of been sticking around with their logo like this for a while and I really like it I like to have similar logos of their candles I there was a time where they were trying out different ones, but I'm glad they stuck with this one. This smells like a men's shampoo. It has a very, very masculine smell, incredibly masculine smell, and I would put it smelling like a men's shampoo. You know, the fact that it's a masculine smell is actually pretty perfect, especially for Letha next month because Letha is ruled by the sun. It is the longest day of the year and it is a very masculine energy type of day. So I think I might save this candle specifically for that day. Mm. It smells like a men's shampoo. I, I don't know how, how else, it's not exactly like super stinky like Axe shampoo would be, but it really smells like men's shampoo. A very clean smell. Clean and masculine smell. I like it, that'd be cool. Alright, on to reading the goodies inside. So we have Origine Lava Stone Thinking Egg. I think the other thinking egg was by the same company. Description, return to present. When it feels like your mind is racing from one thought to the next, hit pause with this lava stone thinking egg. Use the stone as a tool for grounding. Add a few drops of essential oil into the porous stone to enjoy it as a diffuser as well. You definitely could, but I feel like it's polished to such a point that it's not really porous anymore. There are some like nooks and crannies in it, but it's not something that I feel like the oil would infuse into it well, just because how shiny and polished it is on the outside, but use it as a diffuser, that's okay. Instructions, made to fit perfectly in the palm of your hand, this thinking egg is perfect for meditation or simply holding for a few cleansing breaths. Keep it in your pocket or purse to connect as needed throughout the day. Then we have meditation chime. Create your own soothing sound bath with a meditation chime. Let the beautiful tone of the chime center your focus on the present and encourage you to release all other thoughts. Instructions, start your meditation with three strikes of the chime, making sure to take deep restorative breaths in and out between each note. Begin your meditation. Whenever you feel your thoughts drifting, come back to center with three strikes of the chime. You could definitely use it as a meditation. I would use it more as like a cleansing type of tool, but using music or sound or any sort of repetitive specific tone through meditation is a really good way to kind of help you be more focused, not more focused, be less focused on your thoughts and more focused on meditating, if that makes sense. Then we have, oh, bloodstone. That is a bloodstone. 
ready to take on a challenge. That's the energy Bloodstone is looking to stir. The stone is believed to inspire courage, connect with it to overcome fears, and find clarity in taking action. Instructions. Carry Bloodstone in your purse or pocket so you can hold it when you need a boost of motivation. Hold it in your hand for a few rising breaths and then take charge of your day. Awesome. Then we have Succulent Flower Sack Tea Towel. S succulent Flower Sack Tea Towel. It's like a tongue twister. A towel for pro- yeah. <laughs> Speaking of tongue twister, a towel for plant lovers. Give your kitchen some green with this adorable hand-printed succulent tea towel. It features all the succulent favorites on soft flower sack material. This happy design is ready to make drying dishes a little more fun. Or you can use it for literally anything else that you want to use it for. Made with 100% high quality cotton and non-toxic ink, you can use this towel for everyday kitchen cleanups. Care instructions, machine wash, warm, tumble dry, low, iron and bleach optional. Then lastly, we have the candle. It has chrysanthemum, mahogany and goji berry. Enjoy the playful mix of aromas created by fruity goji berries. I don't know if I'm pronouncing them correctly. Goji berries, goji berries. Goji, goji berries, spicy mahogany, and herbal chrysanthemum. Use this blend to stoke a sense of vitality and joy in your home. Raise your spirits every time you light your candle and awaken the energy you need to attract the sweet opportunities of the strawberry moon. Meditation tip. See yourself walking in a field of strawberries. Visualize the gentle wind in your hair, the sun pouring over the red berries, and the endless beauty surrounding you. Awesome. All right, so here are all the wonderful goodies inside this wonderful strawberry moon box from literally i'm super excited to incorporate all of this into my practice i am very excited for my little chime very very excited for my little chime <laughs> i was literally looking for one it is the it's like they heard me i mean that that's part of like the whole laws of attraction right if you keep thinking of something it's gonna end up coming into your life at some point right so here, here's that proof, proof that it's in my life at some point as I was thinking about it. Anyways, we have the candle, we got two crystals kind of, sort of, two stones this month, a wonderful tea towel, and well, a chime. So here's, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, the whole shebang, we have tons of magical fun here, and if you've made it this far, Leave a little strawberry in the comment section down below, and if you don't find a strawberry emoji, just write down strawberry. So here's that. I shall see you guys on the next video. Bye!